What's up guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, we are going to be, we're going to finally be playing Cheese Tower Defense. This has been a very long awaited video, and I'm very happy to finally start making videos on this game, because like, I've waited so long I just never actually made a video on it. But yeah, so, in today's video, I will not only be showing you guys how to be hard mode easily, um, without losing any health, but also, um, showing the best grinding strategy. All you need is cheese baller and summoner. Now, cheese baller shouldn't be all that hard to get. Summoner could be a little bit harder, but with just a little bit of grinding, like if you, once you get cheese baller, you could probably just grind medium a bunch of times and then you should be able to get summoner like decently fast. Um, I would probably just save up like a thousand cheese and then once summoner is in the summon uh i would just like uh spam summon and you should get it um yeah so in today's video we are going to be beating hard mode by only using cheese baller and summoner now this is a pretty specific strategy that Help, lets you beat hard mode every single time you only using these two units um you don't even need farmer or anything you, you don't need anything more than these two units and you can just beat hard mode and start grinding out your cheddar um so yeah we're gonna start now um yeah all you need is cheese baller and summoner i've actually done this strategy two times already just to double like double check and make sure and it does work, and it does every single time. Go here. Um, and yeah, it is very, very easy here. I'm just going to get the summoner down immediately. Oh, wait, well, the moment you load in, and it and you, if you have chosen the mode, you immediately want to get your summoner down as fast as possible. Because it, um... It actually starts coming out even before the game starts. So, just a little tip there. This should be able to shred through um, most of these guys, but yes, yeah, so that will be able to finish them off. Now, skipping wise, if you only need like a hundred more cash to upgrade the summoner, I would skip. But if but if it's not gonna like make much of a difference. I would just not skip and just let it play out. So basically what we're going to do is this next wave, we're going to actually skip it so we can upgrade our summoner as fast as possible because we want sharp cheese going out really fast. Do you need to do this? No, you don't. It's not like you don't have to do it, but that's just um, something that I, uh, I guess do just so that i get my uh 94 health like sharp cheeses like out faster i guess um one more should do the job wow it'll be, it'll be left with like one health okay here we go now we're gonna upgrade so now yeah, and this wave should be pretty easy, especially with your with your uh, 94 health uh, summoner. You can see, yeah, it is one health, but should be fine. Um, yeah, like as you can see, we can't upgrade it at all, so there's no point in really skipping, which is why I don't really skip. Um, now what you are actually going to want to do is you do not want to upgrade this anymore. He's 1.8k is just going to take a really long time, and you're probably going to die before then. So, as part of the strategy, after you get your first cheese summoner to um, level 2, uh, you want to just place another one. Get that one to level 2, place another one. Get that to level 2, and then place your last and final one, and get that to level 2. Another thing that you might want to do is try and get them as spread out as possible. And not get them really close because the more spread out they are, um, I think the better. 
Um, that wasn't very spread out, but I think it's okay. Alright. Now, this wave is always a little tough because, it's, what, what is it, like... 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 100, 220, 240, 260, 260. That's 300 health right here. Which is um, about three of the sharp cheeses with some deadly cheeses. So it's not all that easy. But just like before, we should be okay. Now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to skip the wave so I can upgrade my summoner in just a moment. Okay, here's the thing with the uh, healing gobblers. Since you are using summoners, like track, track units, and not like, um, you know, uh, how do I say this, like attacking units, um, Healing gobblers kind of are a pain like this thing has two health left But it's not going to do anything because the moment it hits this healing gobbler The, the gobbler is going to heal its health back um, So it is kind of annoying, but if you get two of them pretty close together for this it should be fine Yeah That one should have like six health left over but this one can just come in really quick and boom That's it Oh my god, I completely forgot. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait a little bit. Now, since the cooldowns do, uh, like, change, um, so, like, uh, here it's going to go from 30 to 27, and you're going to be upgrading them one by one, they are going to get a little messy, so doing this in the beginning doesn't really change much at the end, but just for the beginning, I think it's good, just in case, like, you want them to come out fast. Um, you want them spread apart most of the game, but you want them very close together when they send out healing gobblers, but it's not really like the end of the world. Um, it's like we are doing pretty good. I'm going to actually, I'm going to skip, I'm going to upgrade this. And now we get we can get our fourth one now. You can only place four summoners, which is why we actually need to use cheese baller. I don't know if you can beat this without cheese baller. I'm just going to use him because he helps a lot and he's one of the most common units in the entire game, so getting him shouldn't be that hard. Um but Yeah, and if you ever have trap tra travel <laughs> trouble getting one of these trading might also be an option um i need to there sure i'll just get it there um see now they're kind of spread apart and by the time that this thing goes goes over there another one should come out There. So this is another uh, pretty spread out. Um, should be good to go. Now, saving up for 1,800 upgrade. I feel I think this is the right thing to do. Just straight up go for it, right? Because once you get this upgrade, I'm pretty sure it shoots up to 7,200. So yeah, I'm pretty sure you just shoot for this upgrade. Um, instead of getting cheese baller. I don't know. I think both of the strategies probably work. But I don't really know exactly. I'm just going to save up for the upgrade. Um... But yeah, uh, another thing that you can very well use, you don't need it, but you can, but if you have it, Rocket Rat, you can also bring that because there is a lot of spamming, uh, like a lot of like gobbler stack spamming and all that, so 
to help a lot. Get it, like using Rocket Rat would be very, very helpful with its uh, splash damage. So uh, yeah, you can also bring that on top of that. You could also, I mean, Farmer is kind of hard because it's, it's a little hard to get like a certain like strategy down with it because Farmer is a little weird to work with. Like, um, it's kind of hard to know when you should upgrade something and when you should upgrade your farms. You kind of need to just look at how you're doing and see if you're in a good place to just upgrade. Um, but you don't need farm for this at all, and a lot of people probably can't really get farm that easily, so, um, it's a good thing. Wise Gobbler. Now, this is kind of where you need to upgrade your uh, your summoners because these stacks basically just shred a bunch of them and that leaves barely any for the wise gobbler but because giving us so much cash I should be able to upgrade this I think there now this should summon yes a threatening cheese. This should get rid of the wise gobbler pretty easily. I'm not gonna skip here because this just actually gives more time for the summoners to summon the cheese. I never thought I'd say that in my entire life, but you know, sure. Um, so yeah, you want as much time as possible, like, uh, you want to really take advantage of the extra time that you have so that it puts that time towards the summoning. Um, as you can see, we are absolutely shredding all of these uh, fast gobblers, little gobblers, whatever you want to call them. What are they called? Quick gobbler. And yeah, I think this... Um, this wave is kind of like a free money wave, and it actually is a really good way to let your, uh, summoners, like, get really high up on the track. Also, another thing, you can also duo this. Um, I did try duo duoing this with someone that actually only had cheese baller, and we still won. Um, now, another thing that you can do is just let your teammate, like, just spam donate a bunch of cash to you so it um can help you but since the enemies do have more health it kind of is a little bit of a struggle all right let's see hmm Yeah, as, like, as you can see, now they're, like, inside of each other, and it's kind of weird. I'm gonna upgrade this one. It should go next, right? Yep. There you go. And at this point, we have, um, some, like, we're doing pretty, we're doing pretty well, because, like, as you can see, we have a bunch of stuff to back us up. Um... You're ready to go now. Um, but yeah, once you get all of them to, I think it is level three, um, you just want to straight up go for cheese ballers. Um, because saving up for 7,200 is a little hard, especially without farmer. Yeah, we are going to shred all of these quick ballers now. Yeah, this wave is... A little upsetting because it does like this wave kind of like robs you out of like all of your uh, summoners um sorry about that in the background um okay yep vacuum in the background awesome I really hope that you guys can't hear, like, extremely, like, loud, like, okay, Distinguished Camo Gobbler, super easy, another really good thing about Summoner is that it is a 
track unit, so it just there. It doesn't even matter if anything is camo or not. It's going to r like run into it. Now we can upgrade our last chi summoner there, and that is it. Now we can go for cheese baller. This is the fun part. Also, by the way, the first one that you want to place, you want to get it as close as possible. You want it to wrap around the entire square. We're going to go rapid cheese. Um. Uh. And then, yeah, once you get more cheese, um, I think you kind of just stay there, and then you just place more. Because I think the next upgrade takes a, a little while to get. Yeah, we should be good. There we go. More cheese. And since we don't really need to buy anything right now, we can just let the wave do its thing, and boom. Look at that. Perfect, actually. Everything is nice and spread out. And we can upgrade our cheese ballers. Now, I would probably put it to strongest, maybe. It doesn't really make much of a difference. I just, I guess, like to put it on strongest because it helps a lot with, like, things that have, like, a ton of health, like the wise gobblers. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna actually... I shouldn't have placed another one before. Kind of regret not doing that. Yeah, now I can, uh... Do this. Boom. Now I'm going to get four cheese ballers. These are all the placements for the cheese ballers that you want. I mean, I, I think these are the best placements. Um, You can also fit another one right here. But I'm not going to do that just yet. I want to upgrade this. And then, boom. Yeah, you want to get them as far away as possible from the back. You want to save as much range as possible. Like, as you can see, a lot of this range could be going, like, up here. But it, it's not. Um, but should be okay. As you can see, we're literally spawn killing right now. Um, we have five... Uh, cheese balls, I'm actually going to get my sixth right there. And boom. And that's it. You're just spamming cheese ballers. That's it. For now, actually. Something very interesting about this game, though, is that, um, usually in most tower defense game nowadays um easy mode is 20 waves medium mode is 30 waves hard mode is 40 waves and, and nightmare is 50 in this game easy is 20 medium is 30 hard mode is 35 and then nightmare is 40 um i guess it's kind of cool i don't know it's less waves less time spent um yeah now you just want to get all of these to um, the second to last level, I guess. Is it Cheese Champ? Is Cheese Champ the next level or is it this level? I don't know. Yeah, you you want to get him to Cheese Champ, I guess. First comes the one here, um, where the box is, and then comes the one here, and then probably comes the next one in the box, and the next one over here. These two guys, these two cheese ballers, like right here, are kind of the ones that should be like put last. Um, because I think they cover the least amount of space here. Um, yeah. So you got both of those, and now I'll go for this one, I guess. You can copy exactly what I do, or you can kind of just use the exact same things that I'm using. Both works. Um... Yeah, so they're going, like, at, like, wave 34, they're, or I think, actually, wave 35, they're just gonna spam a bunch of Furious Gobbler stacks, and it's gonna be kinda tough, but I think we should be okay. When I was doing duos with the other guy, um, the, the, uh, Furious Gobbler stacks had, like, 
what, 3k health each. It was extremely hard, like, getting through them all. And as you can see right now, we are doing absolutely amazing. That's upgraded. That's upgraded. That's upgraded. That's upgraded. Okay. Now you can just go for whatever one of these you want. Okay. Now that you have upgraded all of your cheese ballers, I think it is time that we go back to our cheese summoner. And I think we upgrade that. Boom. Alright, we have six uh, cheese champs that all together are doing about wool, wool. DPS wise. I'm trying to think. About. Wait. Five hundred twenty two damage per second. All of these together, I think. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I think so. Um, nah, bro, the police gobblers. Actually, I'm just gonna put this one to first again. As you can see, look at how much damage the cheese ballers like just shoot off. Oh my god, I didn't even see. Um, upgrade you, whatever. Um, so yeah, we got this cheese summoner upgraded. Now it has 1,200 health. It is insane. And since we are getting so much cash, um, hold up, I think it's the next one, right? Should be the next one coming out. Yep. Um, oh my god, I can literally get another one. This is insane. Yeah, since we're making so much cash, we're like, we are on a roll right now. Um, yeah, as you can see, these cheese ballers are going crazy. Like, oh my god. It, now you guys can actually see just how overpowered this strategy is. Cheese Summoner for being a 4%. Honestly. Kind of deserves to be um, a 0.1%. Well. I don't know. It's kind of hard because like. Compared to Rocket Rat which is also a 4%. Rocket Rat is really good. But you probably can't, like, a uh, solo hard mode with it. That's just a guess. But I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure you can't do it with Rocket Rat and Cheese Baller. Um. But yeah, Summoner is, like, insane. I think it's better than Rocket Rat. Both of them together, even better. Okay. Now what we're gonna do... Is now that the now that these are all the cheese keepers and they're one level away from being max, we're not gonna save for twenty three thousand. We're actually just gonna upgrade all of our cheese ballers, um, to max level, and then we can start saving for that. Um, actually. I think it'd be a way smarter decision to actually max out all of your uh, cheese summoners. Now that I'm thinking about it, because it is wave 31. These ghost gobblers like, really annoying. I hate them. Yeah, now that we're getting very close to the boss, I think it would be a much better investment to uh, max out our cheese summoners. So that um, they are there for the boss. Um... Because, yeah, when you have six cheese ballers down, it's not going to be cheap to, to uh, max out all of them. And it's pr it would probably be better to just get the cheese keeper, I mean, the cheese summoners all maxed out. 
because they're they're overall they're probably gonna be doing a lot more damage to the boss. All right, this is it. She's summoner. Let's see it. I think it's the next one. Yeah, boom. Cheese thrower. This thing is sick. Like, oh my god. So yeah, I think this thing also does damage. I don't know exactly how much damage it does, but it definitely does do some damage. Okay, yeah, these are gonna be, like, super annoying. Because not only do they have so much health, but they're ghost gobblers, and they suck. Oh my god, if, if they pass the cheese thrower, oh my god. No way. No freaking way. This is so annoying. Yes, let's go. Yeah, beat him up. Bro. Wait, are we about to lose? Oh my god. Ayo. Ayo. Oh, thank god. Oh my god, I actually thought we were about to lose, bro. I, I actually got so scared. Um... Yeah, you might want to watch out for those uh, ghost gobblers because they are kind of scary. Yeah, as you can see, we have the uh, furious gobbler stack spam. Nothing that a cheese thrower can uh, can't beat up. I'm gonna try getting all my cheese summoners maxed out, but it will probably be kind of hard. This wave is just easy money. Once you get at least two of your summoners maxed out, it's just easy wave. Boom. Um, even though it does look like we're about to die, we are fine. These cheese throwers can probably take out like three, or like, probably like four furious gobbler stacks. Like three to four of them, maybe like three and a half. So we should be good. And, and we are going to get a lot of cash from this. Yeah, this should be it. These uh, next two dudes. Oh, never mind. Let's see how much damage he does. Come on. Alright, this is the boss wave. The final wave. Eater of cheese. Um, Now, not having your cheese ballers maxed out is completely fine, I think. As long as you get all your uh, cheese summoners maxed out, you should be a-okay. Okay. Yep, the moment these things stop hitting, you want to just sell them all. Just sell them all. And then immediately put all that money towards maxing out your last summoner. Yeah, we win, we win. GG's. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we are about to win. And, um, yeah, with the leftover cash that you have, you want to oh, we get some more cheese ballers here. Maxed out, it should be able to reach the entire thing. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. I'm actually going to set up right here. Some good stuff going. It is, like, extremely cheap to max these things out. Which is another reason why Cheese Baller is like extremely OP. And boom. That's it, man. That is the entire thing. Beginning to end. 30 minutes, man. Takes a while, but it's all worth it in the end, man. We got 300 cheddar, baby. Let's go. And boom. Cheese City Hard Mode. Um, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. That is how you beat hard mode only using cheese baller and summoner. Uh, now to end off the video, I'm going to actually try out my luck. Um, this is like a what? Uh, like one in 850? No, that wouldn't make sense. It's like a one in 900 chance or something. I don't know. It's somewhere around a thousand. Summon. Okay, if we at least get another cheese summoner, I'll be happy. Come on. Okay, sniper. Trash, but okay. And 
bam, boom. Uh, that that's that is I think going. I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And let me know down in the comments if you actually want to see more of Cheese Tower Defense. Um, and yeah, I definitely will be doing some giveaways because I have way too many purples, bro. Um, I also have some extra summoners and cheese farmers that I will be probably giving away in, our, in my next stream. So yeah, make sure to stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Oh, well, by the way, road to not well, road to 1K by the end of February, man. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen.